Uh, welcome to Lake Texoma. Today you're fishing with Chris Carey, Stropper Express Guide Service, StropperExpress.com, 903-786-4477. We're using Riptide 4-inch Glow Shad on Blakely Lures heads, some with spinners, some with not. Started out this morning with the Cotton Cordell Pencil Popper, Stropper Classic. Also the Storm Big Bug, another favorite locally for the last few years. Popping them in the shallows, catching some nice striper. I'm Luke Clayton. Most people might know us. I know they've read a lot of stuff we've written in the last 75 years. Well, they have plenty of chances to do it. They have. But I tell you what, we had a great time, Chris. Caught a bunch of stripers and top water. Catching these things on top water. I, if, if there's something more fun in fishing, I don't know about it. Bob. I don't either. You know, just seeing them blow up and bait like the, what we were fishing today, it's just, it's just, you can't beat it, especially up in that shallow water. It's awesome. And, uh, Chris, I picked up some tips from you. Some things I should remember from time to time, but when you're jerking that big chug bug, whatever you're using, and when you let it stop, and if you, I have a tendency to jerk it away from him, but if you'll just wait a minute and let that old striper pull it down and then work on him, I finally got the swing of it after 
missing two or three, you know. The term that I always use with the people is I tell them, let the fish load it up. You know, just like when you're worm fishing or Carolina fishing, you let that fish load it up before you take it. Now, like you said, it's next to impossible not to set that hook when you see that fish blow up on it. But we're all getting better at it. That's right. And, yeah, when when he it's human nature to want to jerk that thing back when you feel him take it. But it just let him, let him load up, and that would be a good tip for your the potential clients that's listening to you right now. When they get out here, we'll, we'll have them trained. Right. You know, half the time when that fish is five pounds or above, that's a tail that's actually hitting that lure. And when you first feel that thing, that tail has just got it. Maybe it's grasped. A lot of times I'll bring these things up with a scale on it. And I figured that's what it is. That stripper slapped it with his tail. It drugged down his body, picked up his scale, but never got it. So a lot of times I tell people, just let him take it. Let him take it. Don't take it away from him. There's that wind. That's it. <laughs> Well, I tell you, Chris, fishing with you, Striper Express, I had a great time, man. I know Bob did. I watched him catch those fish. It was a pleasure having you. We'll get back with you again soon, man. Thanks a lot. Thank you. You like our little video on Lake Texoma. This is a wonderful lake. We catch a lot of stripers. We're just one of the lucky ones to get to go fishing. I'll tell you, this is our 25th anniversary. Year in, year out, these old stripers just keep reproducing. We'd love to have you up here. I'll tell you, we can accommodate you. We can catch you a bunch of fish and we can show you a good time. I hope you enjoyed our little video. Come see us.